I'm Adam Eccleston, host and producer at All Classical Radio. I am your reader today, and I'm joined here with a very special guest, Amanda. Hi, Adam. Hello there. My name is Amanda, and I am the principal violist with the Oregon Symphony, and I'm so happy to be here today. We're so happy to have you. Now, the viola is going to be our instrument today as I read Counting Two Bananas. It's written by Portland-based author Carrie Tillotson and produced by Estrella Lorenzo. Read with permission by Flamenco Books. One plum, two figs, three oranges, four pigs. Wait a minute! Pigs are in fruit? True, but no other fruit rhymes with figs. Five apples, six pears, seven kiwis, eight bears. Bears? What about bananas? It's not time for bananas yet. Nine star fruit, but I want to be the star fruit. Ten bananas, plantains, I'm starting to feel bruised. 11 mangoes, 12 cranes. Would you please stop putting animals in a fruit book? I could put in different kinds of animals. 13 melons, 14 peaches, 15 kumquats, 16 leeches. Well, you didn't like the other animals. If I have to see one more animal in a fruit book, I am going to go completely bananas. 17 lemons, 18 prunes, 19 apricots, 20 baboons. B -b baboons? How about raccoons? Raccoons rhymes with prunes. Fine. 20 raccoons. Shoo, baboons! Phew! Now, can we please hurry up and get to bananas? Of course. 40 cherries. 60 grapes. 80 berries. Um, I'm getting buried here. One hundred apes? One hundred apes with mouths agape chasing banana while banana escapes. Never mind! Make it an animal book! <laughs> Isn't this a fun book? I love it so much. My favorite part is 100 apes, and I love the picture in it because it looks like the apes are hungry. They are hungry for banana. And one of the great lessons that I learned about this book is being in the spotlight isn't always so grand. <laughs> and I love having Amanda here making beautiful music. Now you were doing some really interesting things there. Tell us about these different movements you were making on the viola. Yeah, so this is a bow. It's made of wood here on the stick, and this part is actually made from horse hair. Don't worry, no horses were harmed in the making of this bow, they just get a little haircut. And what we do is we put the bow on the string and we move it back and forth. And we can move it very slowly or very fast to make different sounds. Wow, that's really impressive. <laughs> I'm sure all of you love that. Now. Our time has come to a close, but Amanda is going to play a beautiful musical selection for us. Are you ready? I really am.
amazing Amanda. Oh, thank you all for joining us today. Ciao. Thank you.